What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Call for a Wild video or surf fishing the Florida Gulf Coast. You guys already know it. Now in this video, we're gonna be doing an experiment. Yes, an experiment. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys why it is so necessary to get you a pair of balloon wheels. These are uh, wheelies, but I'm gonna be doing an experiment on the beach. I'm gonna go 150 yards with the balloon tires and then I'm gonna go 150 yards with the rubber tires right here. And then what I'm gonna do, I got a cool little experiment for you. I'm gonna see how long it takes. So I'm gonna see how long it takes to go 150 yards with the balloon tires. And then I'm gonna show you how long it takes to go 150 yards with the rubber tires. And I'm also, pretty cool, pretty cool little idea right here. And also I got a cool little gadget on my iPhone that allows me to read my heart rate. So what I'm gonna do is after I pull the cart with the balloon tires 150 yards, I'm gonna measure my heart rate. I'm gonna do the same thing with the rubber with the rubber tires. I'm gonna measure my heart rate after I drag the rubber tires 150 yards as well. So cool little video. I want to show you guys how effective the balloon tires are versus the rubber tire. Let's go ahead and get on the beach. If you guys like the video, make sure to drop a like. It took a lot of work to make this video. Make sure to drop a like on it. It really helps the video out a lot and it helps the channel grow. And also, if y'all are new here, want to see more videos, uh, surf fishing videos for Pompano and stuff like that, make sure to subscribe. Let's go ahead and get on the beach. All right, guys, welcome back to another call for a while. We are at the beach. We're fixing to do the live beach wheel test, okay? So we got the wheelies right here, these bad boys. And then we also got the good old rubber tires. And we're gonna see which ones are better for the sand. You guys probably already know that the sand, that the balloon tires are gonna be better than the rubber tires. I mean, obviously the balloon ones are gonna roll better. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark an area way up there and we're gonna see how long it takes for the balloon tires to get there versus these tires. And what I have on my phone is actually a heart rate sensor. So we're not only gonna see the distance that it takes, we're also gonna measure our heart rate at the end of each trip and we're gonna see how fast my heart rate is after carrying the cart with the balloon tires versus the cart with the rubber tires. So we're gonna see how much energy is being exerted carrying each of the carts. So let's go ahead and get to it, guys. I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna mark a spot up here, probably do about 100 yards, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna get the test on. All right, guys, we're getting to the spot that I'm gonna mark. So as you guys can see, way over there, is my beach cart with the balloon tires way over there and we're gonna mark it right here so right where this stick is we're gonna mark and we're just gonna see how much better are the balloon tires than those rubber tires I'm actually getting really excited I've been wanting to make this video for a while I just want to show you guys how much better these balloon tires work in those nasty old rubber tires so we're gonna trek on back. People are probably looking at me thinking, what in the world is he talking about? Why is he talking to himself? But I'm here to help each one of you surf fishermen out. We're gonna see how much better are these balloon tires. You know, they're kind of expensive, not gonna lie, but I can go ahead and tell you before I do this test, they are worth it, guys. Alrighty, guys, we got it going. We got the heart rate monitor right here. Let's go ahead and go. All right, guys, here we go. We're fixing to make the first trek about 150 yards with the wheelie balloon tires. Let's go. Here we go. about 15 seconds in these balloon tires are giving me the benefit of the doubt I'm telling you they are making this so easy I don't really feel like I'm exerting that much force we're almost to the line we're almost to the line very sturdy too wow I'm really surprised very very sturdy there's the line Woo! all right made the line we made the line let's go ahead and get and do the heart rate let's do the heart rate here we go it's gonna take a little bit for it to load eight seconds left oh 141 beats a minute holy cow Whew. all right all right 
I think we're good. 141 beats a minute. Now it's going back down. 141. All right, guys, so that was 141 beats per minute as far as my heart rate goes. So that was 141 beats a minute. Uh, I'm sure that the rubber tires, not only is it gonna be harder, on my, on my heart rate is gonna be faster, but I can almost promise you it's gonna take longer too. Those beach, these beach wheels right here, I mean, I just cruised along the beach, no problem at all. I mean, and it was actually relatively sturdy. They didn't dig in the sand or anything. They just went right on across to the sand. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my tools out. I'm gonna get my wrench. We're gonna take this axle off and we're gonna put the rubber tires on. And we're gonna see what my heart rate is after we get back from 150 yards. And then we're gonna measure the time it took to go with these black rubber tires. This is exciting. I'm actually pumped about doing this video. You guys gotta try the wheelies. All right, guys, we just got the rubber axle on the beach cart. We're fixing to test it out and see if it exerts more energy, if my heart rate is faster, and if it takes a lot longer for me to get over there. Now, it took me a while to get these screws off. I had a, I had a uh, ratchet, but as you can see, the extension fell off while I was pulling the cart over here. So uh, I had to use a, just a simple wrench, but anyways, we got it on and we're ready to pull this thing. So I'm gonna strap this GoPro to my chest and we're gonna get on with it, guys. Let's see what we can do. All right, guys, here we go. We just passed the line. There's a the line right there. We just passed it. Here we go. We're gonna see which one takes longer and which one is harder. Can already tell you, these black rubber tires do not flow as easily across the sand as the wheelies do. I promise you. I feel like I'm getting the same distance, but I'm exerting way more energy way more energy so let's see here what do we got oh yeah I can feel my heart rate way way more energy exerting pulling these black rubber tires than the balloon tires oh my goodness here we go this is a stopping point almost there almost there guys right here all right, let's check our heart rate. Let's check our heart rate. Holy cow. Just that little pool has got me sweating. Okay, let's check my heart rate now. Woo, woo, my goodness. Oh, oh, oh wow. I'm at 150, 163 guys, 167. Oh, 177. Oh, stupid ad came up. Stupid ads keep coming up, guys. But as you can see on my hand and my arm, I'm sweating right now. I just checked my pulse. It was at one, my beats per minute was at 177. We're still trying to take it. Hopefully no ads show up. But I got a reading of 177. And I've already had about a two minute break. Right now it's already 20 over. I'm at 167 right now. So definitely, definitely more energy exerted pulling the rubber tires. 168, wow. 168 beats per minute. So as you guys just saw, the initial reading I got was 177 beats per minute. I think the highest that I got on the balloon tires was 142 or something around the 140. So you guys can tell from this distance, I'm not gonna lie, I was breathing so hard just using these rubber tires right here. If you guys are gonna get a beach cart, I know it's a lot of money, but get you the wheelie tires. They make your beach experiences so much easier whenever you're carrying fishing gear. I cannot express that enough. Whenever I use these, even though my heart rate was, you know, at 140, I still wasn't even breathing hard really at all compared to these black rubber tires. These black rubber tires are not good. And the thing is, is this sand right here isn't even the softest of sand. So this is actually relatively, easy sand to pull a cart on so these black tires weren't even really digging into the sand and i don't have a lot of weight so you can only imagine if i have five reels on there a bucket tackle box everything else you can only imagine what my heart rate would be at carrying this cart and i did i carried that cart for probably about uh, a year and a half two years and i can go ahead and tell you the first week of me putting on those balloon tires i was kicking myself in the butt because I should have gotten those balloon tires long, long ago. I'm telling you guys, if y'all can afford it, get 
the balloon tires, these are wheelies. They will save you so much energy here on the beach as far as surf fishing. I'm telling you right now, they just glide over the sand. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it may not have seemed like a lot. It actually took me a pretty good amount of work to get this video going. I had to unscrew the axles, change it on the beach. I lost my ratchet extension, so I had to use this nasty, crumbly pair of, uh, of wrenches that I had that barely fit. And it was just a pain in the butt. But I made it for you guys. I hope this really helps you guys out. I'm telling you, I recommend the wheelie tires a, a lot. I'm not even sponsored by them. I can just go ahead and tell you, it's gonna make your beach fishing trip so much easier while you're going surf fishing. So if you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe. Here before long, I'll make a video fishing out here. I do a lot of surf fishing here on the Florida Gulf Coast. And uh, so yeah, if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe button and check out my other videos. I got pompano fishing videos, catching big red fish on the beach whiting fishing videos just about any fish that runs through the surf i've caught so check out those videos below and also guys drop a like on the video a lot of work went into making it and uh see you guys in the next episode of surf fishing the florida gulf coast take care